Hey guys, what's going on? It's KF Plus Lego Mastery back with another video. And in this one, guys, today we're going to be doing a tutorial on my vacuum turbine. I made a video about this yesterday, actually, and I made it a video of it running. And if you saw the title, I will actually link it right up there. If you saw the title, I said it runs about 10,000 RPM at max throttle, which is very true. It has the, I did some extensive testing and I figured out that the alignment of the holes is very important and that every, every opening counts, if you know what I mean. So basically, we're going to be doing a tutorial and yeah, so just be sure to share and subscribe and like and let's get on to the tutorial okay, guys. so to start off what you want to do is you want to build a bottom base layer and this is because for the um if your propeller is going to be your output propeller is going to be big you obviously want it to be high enough up the ground off of the base plate that you'll have enough room to actually put the propeller. So yeah, all you want to do is just put a bottom layer like this. Then you want to take a 1x4 and a 1x2 and put them on, on top of each other like this and you're going to do that twice. Actually, it goes on like this. So you're going to take two of those. And you're also going to put a 2x2 two two, um, plate in the center. So the next thing you want to do is build up another layer. And this one will actually have a red 2x1 on the top. So yeah, all you want to do is just add another layer. And you actually want to skip this side. So just put a 1x4 on this side and not on this side. What you do want to put on this side is, is a tile or something that your valve will be able to slide on. See? So yeah. <clears throat> so the next thing that you want to do is you want to take a 1x1 with a hole and you want to put it here. And you also want to take another one by one and put it here. Now what this does is I did a lot of testing on this. And it turns out that having this hole actually improves the, our, it improves the performance a lot, believe it or not. So yeah. The next thing you want to do is you want to build a wall like this. And it's two two by ones. A... 1x6 and a 1x6 on the top. Well, obviously, you don't have to make it exactly how I do. I don't, I couldn't find another 1x6 to put here, so I just added here a 1x4 and two 1x1s. So, right here. Now, the next thing you want to do is make a layer of one by sixes across the board. So just make it like this, go around as you can see. Now, the next thing that we're going to be putting in is actually the propel the turbines. So these are the turbines and basically it is a eight long axle with a stopper at the end so you want you basically want to put this through a two by one with a hole and you're going to put a 40 tooth gear a 36 tooth gear another 36 tooth gear and a another 40 tooth gear and then you're going to take another two by one with a hole put it through the other end and you're going to put it right in the middle here like this simple enough simple enough so the next thing that you want to do is grab a couple 2x1s 
and you're gonna place them on the side like this. Four of them to be precise. And yeah. The next thing you wanna do is make something similar to this. So it is a four by one with three holes and two one by ones on the side along with a 1x6 on the bottom, but again, you don't have to use them if you don't have them. So I used a 1x2 and a 1x4. All you want to do is place it on top like this. Simple enough. Alright, so we are getting to the end of it. So what you want to do now is you want to make a structure like, like this. So basically it is a six by eight platform with a um, a two by six here and um, a four a four by one and another four by one and two two by ones like that and two one by sixes on the top here so this is going to be the cover and it goes right on top and yeah and believe it or not that it's actually the entire the entire and the, the entire turbine built and oh one more thing you want to put this on top for your vacuum so that it can grip onto the top and something to hang on to so yeah and that guys is basically the entire thing built and the only thing that you would have to add is the valve, which is where, this is where it gets closed and cut off so that it'll be able to go fast. And yeah. So guys, I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you want to see more of my content in the future, please be sure to leave a con comment down below with any suggestions. And yeah, so that's basically it for this one, guys. I'll see you in the next video. See you later, guys. Peace out.